In the Arduino development environment, there are two types of hardware interrupts, namely external interrupts and pin change interrupts. In this video, external interrupts will be demonstrated by using I.O. devices such as a sensor. In a microcontroller, a hardware interrupt occurs due to an external event, which could be a signal from a sensor. This in turn will cause the interrupt pin to go either high or low. The main program in the microcontroller will then pause. A subprogram called interrupt service routine will be executed. And once this is done, the main code resumes. We start with the external interrupts. The Arduino Nano and the Arduino Uno support two external interrupts while the Arduino Mega has six external interrupts. In this video, we'll focus on the Nano, which has two external interrupts called interrupt 0 and interrupt 1. Interrupt 0 is available on digital pin 2 and interrupt 1 on digital pin 3. To demonstrate external interrupt, we have a push button connected to digital pin 2. So this button is used to trigger interrupt zero. We also have an infrared receiver connected to digital pin three, which is used to trigger and initiate interrupt one. The infrared receiver is activated when an object lies in front of the LED transmitter and the photodiode receiver. The main program in the Arduino blinks the blue LED and when the switch is pressed, interrupt zero occurs causing the red LED to fast blink for a few seconds and then the main program resumes. When an object activates the IR sensor, interrupt one occurs causing the yellow LED to fast blink and then the main program resumes. Only one interrupt can be serviced by the microcontroller at any one time, as you can see from this demonstration. The C++ code for the external interrupts is shown here. In this setup function, we need to declare the two interrupts, interrupt 0 and interrupt 1. So here, for example, this statement, we are using function attach interrupts to declare interrupt 0. The attach interrupt function has three parameters. The first parameter gives me whether we are declaring interrupt 0 or interrupt 1. The second parameter gives the name of the interrupt service routine. And the third parameter determines how the interrupt pin is triggered by the input signal. The code inside the loop function blinks the blue LED and this continues until an external interrupt occurs. When the switch is pressed, then interrupt zero occurs and this uh, interrupt service routine is executed where the red LED blinks fast for a few seconds and then the program jumps back into the main loop to execute the blinking of the blue LED. And when the IR sensor is triggered, interrupt 1 occurs and this interrupt uh, service routine is executed where the yellow LED blinks. External interrupts are limited in the number of hardware interrupts. In the next video, pin change interrupts will be presented to enable up to 24 hardware interrupts.